All right, Tina, I have a question for you. Okay. Did, did you make any New Year's resolutions this year? I may have, but yeah. don't you kind of feel like with the hustle and bustle of each day, it's kind of hard to stay on track. Definitely. Well, Heather actually spoke with an expert to help us. Are you one of the millions of Americans struggling to stay on track with your New Year's resolutions to get healthy in 2016? While adopting a healthier lifestyle is at the top of most of our lists, many go about it the wrong way. Lifestyle expert and former senior health and nutrition expert at Shape Magazine, Sharon Lau, joins us this morning to help us reach our goals. Sharon, thank you so much for being here this morning. Of course, thanks for having me. So I, like many Americans, have made a couple of New Year's resolutions that I will admit I'm already having kind of a hard time sticking to. So I don't know, where would you start? Well, the first thing that I would uh, recommend doing is to reevaluate uh, the way that you're going about that New Year's resolution. Oftentimes, uh, the biggest mistake that I see people making is they try to do too much, too soon, too fast. So, for instance, if you're trying to lose a few pounds, they, people will say, I'm not going to eat any desserts this year, which, let's face it, is unrealistic. I recommend making small, simple changes that fit into your everyday lifestyle, um, and I've got some great tips on how to do that right here. That's incredible, and I know a lot of us are struggling because we have families, we have kids at home that aren't necessarily going to be on board with some of these changes that we want to implement. <laughs> so, I mean, do you have any easy swaps that will kind of help us with our family mealtime? Absolutely. Well, the first easy swap that I really recommend doing is to make sure that you're eating whole grains. So, for instance, swap out that regular bread that you're eating for a version that contains whole grains. I really love this Rudy's Organic Bakery Soft White and Soft Wheat Kids Bread. It's the only organic kids bread that's nationally available. Plus, each one de uh, delivers 24 grams uh, of whole grains per serving. So it's an easy way to upgrade that PB&J uh, that's a family favorite. Awesome. That sounds great. Now I know starting the day is super important in our house. We want to make sure that the kids eat something healthy before they head to school. So any ideas for a healthy breakfast? Oh, that is such a great point to make because uh, breakfast is really the most important meal of the day. Studies show that if you eat breakfast, you're less likely to overeat the rest of the day. Plus, it can actually help you concentrate better in school or at work. Um, you know, we're often rushing out the door for uh, in the mornings, so I recommend a, having a healthy grab-and-go option on hand. I really love these plenty oatmeal meets Greek yogurt. They're made with real oatmeal and Greek yogurt, so they're delicious. You can enjoy it cold straight from the fridge. Just toss it in your bag or your book bag and go. Um, and it's a great resource of protein as well as uh, whole grains, which is so important for that long lasting energy throughout the morning. Um, and that's something that I really recommend looking for in a breakfast, both protein and whole grains. I think that's great. If I have something on hand to grab to eat that's healthy, I'm uh, less likely to make a bad choice in the middle of the day, which often happens. So Sharon, I'm wondering, do you have any, do you see any trends in 2016? Well, one trend that I'm noticing in the kitchen, um, in fact, there's, study, there's surveys that show that uh, Americans uh, are wanting to eat more ground beef. They're viewing it as a nutritious option, but they don't really know how to go about cooking it. Um, and I recommend ground beef, actually, because it's high in protein and iron, um, and it can be low in cholesterol and fat. The most important thing to do is when you're at the grocery store is to look at your ground beef and make sure that it's lean. I like something like Laura's Lean Ground Beef because there's just nine grams of fat per serving. It's all natural. And if you go to their website, they have a lot of great family uh, recipes that are so delicious for kids, like this extra veggie sloppy joe is one great option. Uh, you can sort of sneak in those extra veggies for your kids and they won't even notice. As well as this pizza pasta bake, it's uh, really cheesy and yummy for just 318 calories per serving. Oh wow, my mouth is watering just looking at that. So I know now we have all this wonderful food. <laughs> oh, it's food. so good. It's, um, you know, it and it's great amazing. to have like healthy ingredients on hand because if you have it there, you'll cook at home instead of ordering fast food or takeout, um, which is really important to do. Another piece of advice that I have to stay on track with your goals in 2016 is to make sure that you're monitoring your health needs carefully. Now, there are 30 million Americans out there who have diabetes, a lot of who have to monitor their blood sugar regularly. Um, so a lot of us know how difficult that can be. Luckily, there's some innovative new technologies out there that makes this process a whole lot easier. I recommend something like this AccuCheck Connect. It's a diabetes management system that has a portable blood sugar meter, um, and it instantly uploads that data to an iPhone or an Android app, as well as a secure online portal. So you can view, access that information anywhere, anytime. It's great for moms who want to keep tabs on their kids, um, or if you want to share that information securely with a doctor or maybe a caregiver. 
Awesome. So much great information this morning. Sharon, where can we go for more? Well, you can go to a couple different websites. You can go to rudysbakery.com, plentyyogurt.com, laurasleanbeef.com to get these recipes, as well as accucheck.com backslash connect. Wonderful. Sharon, thank you again for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be back after this.